So which one of these printers is more economical to use? Well, hello, and welcome to this photo speed video with me, Tim Jones. Today, what we're gonna be looking at is the Canon Pro 300, and we're gonna be pitting it against the Epson P700. And very simply, I wanna find out quite probably, you may call it unscientifically, which one of these is more economical on ink. Because when I print an A3 print and go into the printer information, both these printers say they're around 1.5 to 2 mil, depending on paper, kind of around those kind of figures per sheet of A3 when you're making a color print coming out of these printers. So, and what, what I want to do is dive into these numbers a little bit and just to see if we can get an answer which one of these could be a little bit more economical to use. So use less ink on the page or be a little bit more sensible with its ink usage. So before we get started though, a little bit of housekeeping, please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Just click that subscribe button in the bottom right. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Photospeed newsletter on photospeed.com to keep up to date with everything happening here at Photospeed and also some exclusive discounts. And also, if you haven't already, don't forget to download the Photospeed Art of Printing that can be downloaded from photospeed.com, the free ebook that gives you a guide to absolutely everything in printing from turning on your printer to framing to bookmaking to mounting, etc. So please, well worth a read, so give it a download. Okay, so let's dive in to economics and which one of these printers is more economical to use. Okay, so if you haven't already, have a look at the videos we've done on the Photospeed YouTube channel on the P700 and the Pro 300 from Canon. Both fabulous printers. To be honest, I flip-flop between which one is my favorite and which one I tend to use. So at the minute, I'm printing my own exhibition on the P700. However, I normally take the 300 to shows and things. The 700 is a little bit quicker to print. The 300 produces fabulous prints. Side by side, I am really hard pushed to pick a difference between the two, to be honest. They both produce fabulous color, fabulous black and whites out of the box as well, with some good custom profiles as well on them. Things improve even more. So it comes down to kind of the problems really with them. P700 can feel a little bit plasticky, possibly, sorry Epson for saying that, but it does a little bit on the front. The Canon does feel a little bit more sturdier, but it is bigger whereas the Epson is nice and compact, it just looks great. The Epson also has nice big cartridges. They both have 10 inks in them, but the Epson has 26 mil inks, whereas the Canon has little 14 mil cartridges in there. But obviously the price reflects that. But I do like these nice big chunky cartridges. So that doesn't necessarily mean economics wise, so you could, you'll be replacing ink cartridges more often in the Pro 300 just because they're smaller cartridges. Doesn't mean it's using more ink though. So I've come down, I've kind of been thinking about this and we've been thinking about in the office how we could actually test this without relying on manufacturer numbers and things. So we thought of the most unscientific way we could probably think about it is weighing the cartridges. So. What I'm gonna do, not too sure if this will actually work, and I don't know the outcome. I haven't pre-recorded this and done the test and then come in here. I honestly, when I'm recording this now, I don't know what's gonna happen. So I'm either gonna upset people or we're gonna be on a level playing field a little bit. So a little bit worried about who I'm gonna upset, but well, hopefully we'll get a bit of an answer between the two. And like I said, it's not the most scientific way, but hopefully it will give you a little bit of a guide. So what I'm planning to do is we're gonna weigh the cartridges. So I'm gonna take the 10 cartridges out of the Epson and the 10 cartridges out of the Canon here as well. And then what I'm gonna do is we'll weigh them and then we will get that base number. To make it nice and fair, I'm gonna turn both printers on, let it run through its startup procedure and then weigh the cartridges. So then hopefully 
there won't be too much wastage or head cleaning or any nonsense going on. Then what we'll do is we'll make a print, uh, a color print on both printers, same picture, printed through Lightroom, exactly the same. And then we'll put the prints down and then we'll weigh the cartridges again to see how much has actually been used in grams. And then we can hopefully convert that to mil as well. And then by the price per cartridge, we can then get a price per mil and then per print coming out as well to see which one actually uses a little bit less ink or they're both the same and it really does come down to which box you prefer. So let's turn them on and let's get that initial control weight in the bank. I should say what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it a couple of times so at least we can get an average because there may be other little things going on as well. So I just wanna see, I'll do it say three different prints where prints We'll print it, weigh it, print it, weigh it, print it, weigh it. Do it three times, and then I can get a bit of an average as well. Hopefully, so we can see what's going on. But I'm quite interested with this. It's gonna be quite an interesting one to do. So, let me turn the printers on. Let me do that initial weighing, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so the results are in. Now the Canon started with 267 grams. That was my base of 267 grams. And then when I've done a print, it's come down to 262 grams in total. The plastic, the ink, absolutely everything. I haven't done anything else. So it's used five grams worth of ink when it's produced an A3 print. If you compare that to the Epson, that started at 863 grams for all 10 cartridges, so a lot heavier because there's a lot more ink, a bit more plastic involved in the cartridges as well. Then I did a print, took them out, weighed them again, and that was 862 grams. So it's used one gram's worth of ink in printing this A3 print. Now, I have to say, I put them on the same quality settings. So I set them on max because then we know kind of roughly that they're gonna be using kind of the similar kind of ink levels, that's a maximum. If I put it on standard, I don't really know what we're gonna be doing. So I thought, I did another test though, because I thought that seems a bit high from Canon, to be honest. So I, re-weighed the cartridges and did the test again. And in that test, again, it was five grams of ink. Not sure where it's going. I'm not, I'm a bit surprised by that, to be honest. I thought they would be a little bit closer. So did it on the Epson again and only one gram of ink was used. I'm not sure if there's something else at play here, possibly. Now, I want to kind of, this kind of put a caveat on this. This isn't the most scientific test. We're not in controlled conditions and things like that. I think that possibly removing the cartridges and putting them back in triggers a cleaning cycle possibly on here, which would account for the, that three or four extra grams worth of ink being used or mill of ink being used, possibly. I can't write it off and I can't kind of confirm it either. It didn't seem to go through that. It just loaded the cartridges and was ready to print kind of thing. So it didn't go through its agitating ink or anything like that, or it's a cleaning cycle. So that, that's one kind of caveat on this, I think, that there, there could be something else at play. I, I wouldn't expect there to be that much of a difference, to be honest. As you can probably tell, I'm a little bit shocked by the difference in there as well. So it seems that the Epson's really quite good on ink, but 
I don't know. I'd, it's the cleaning in the Canon. I didn't think it did it. Um, and like I said, possibly, and I'm, I'm kind of thinking that, that possibly taking them out and wearing them and putting them back in triggers a bit of a cleaning cycle because that three or four mil would be something I would expect to see within a cleaning cycle. I'm not sure. I have to clarify with Canon. However, it's been quite interesting. Um, the prints look pretty much the same, to be honest, in front of me here. They look pretty good. So, yeah. I don't know if we're that much further forward, to be honest, so apologies. Cue the comments and things. But like I said, it's, it's a test and yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, in my experience, possibly I might be going towards this side as a little bit more economical, um, which probably please Epson. But I'm sure Canon would argue that possibly that clean cycle is being triggered by the cartridges coming in and out of the printer. But I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep um, trying to do a few more tests. I, I mean, I did do a few more prints on these and that's kind of an average of what I've been seeing, to be honest. So it wasn't just a one-off that it was using five mil to do an A3 print, the Canon. It, it kept doing it. I did a good three or four prints on it weighing them each time going in and out and it seemed to be around that so that would possibly make me think that yes there is something else going on so i mean to be honest you're going to be happy with either printer i do say that you have to change the ink cartridges less on the epson but there's double the amount of ink in the cartridge so that would probably be expected to be honest so it's been quite interesting though to actually kind of do it and find out kind of if, if there is a difference, and I think there is, and I would say the Epson just slightly pips it, but I think those results are slightly biased because perhaps this printer's doing a bit of a cleaning cycle with things. I don't know, I don't know is the answer, but I think for me, this one just pips it, the Epson P700 just pips it. I'm gonna try this with the Pro 1000 and P900 though in the coming weeks as well, just to see if there's any difference between those two. So I hope that's been useful. Probably not the most categoric kind of answer to the question you were perhaps looking for, but fun nevertheless. So don't forget to subscribe to the Photospeed YouTube channel. Just click that subscribe button in the bottom right. And also don't forget to sign up to our newsletter on photospeed.com to get all the latest news from Photospeed. Also don't forget to download the Photospeed Art of Printing that covers everything from setting up your printer to framing to mounting, absolutely everything. Rendering intense color management, anything you could think of is in there to do with printing. And also don't forget we release a new video every Thursday on the Photospeed YouTube channel. So click that bell icon to get notifications of when a new video comes out. And on that note, I will see you next Thursday. Bye-bye.